Hi everyone, it's Dr. Chuck back again with another checkup. Today I want to talk about a problem that pops up from time to time in our refrigerants industry. And we all need to be uh, vigilant and, and be aware of it so we can help avoid the impact. And what I'm talking is about is illegal counterfeit fake uh, refrigerants. It usually happens during a time of transition when it's different regulations in different parts of the world. Uh, unscrupulous uh, suppliers of refrigerant try and take advantage of the situation. And it's really something you just need to be aware of. And uh, so you can protect your business, your business's reputation, your employees, your customers. So I want to talk a little bit about what the issues are, what the problems actually are, where we see them. And finally, what Comores is doing about it and what you can do about it to help protect yourself. So I want to start off talking about uh, what I'll call fake refrigerants. In this case, it's a refrigerant that is not what is on the label. So you may get a jug of gas uh, that has a label like R22. You're expecting R22 to be in it, but it is filled with something else. Uh, a very widely publicized case a few years ago out of uh, Southeast Asia where a, a substance methyl chloride, R40, was actually showing up in R22 labeled cylinders. Now, methyl chloride is it was flammable, it's not approved, uh, it's very dangerous. It actually, if it gets in a system, it reacts with the aluminum, uh, degrades the aluminum, and actually forms pyrophoric materials, that is materials that when exposed to air uh, can spontaneously ignite or explode. So you had a refrigerant going in there, the system was gonna be degraded and not work. Uh, and then when service people came, uh, they had some issues. There were even some fatalities around this. Uh, very, very dangerous. Uh, so it's something you need to be aware of. Again, one of the principal ways you can protect yourself is to always buy refrigerant from a supplier you know and trust. Um, there's another group of problem refrigerants that pop up from time to time, and I will call those counterfeit refrigerants. So it may or may not be the legitimate refrigerant, 134A, 22, 410A, but it's packaged in packaging that represents to be manufactured and supplied by a well-known, respected supplier. Uh, so they'll steal the brands, the logos, the trade names. Uh, all of that information really to try and make it look like a more legitimate product than it is. So again, sticking with suppliers you know and trust will go a long way to avoiding those kind of issues. There's also illegal imports. So where refrigerants may be legal for a time being in certain parts of the world, they may get diverted to other regions. You need to be aware of that. Uh, that's happened a lot in the EU under the F-gas regulations. There's a lot of smuggling and Ill illegal refrigerants going on there. In the U.S., we had an illegal refrigerant, an R22 replacement was coming out in, in cylinders, very similar labeling to traditional R22 cylinders, but it contained a complete uh, mix of hydrocarbons, very, very flammable, and was being supplied through non-traditional channels. And again, uh, the enforcement action took care of that, uh, and that problem has gone away. Uh, nothing of that sort going on today, but it's something you always want to keep in the back of your mind. Uh, looking out for these products. Um, so what is Camores doing? Uh, one, education. Part of the reason I'm talking about this today, to keep the word out uh, so you can get good, high quality, safe product. Uh, two, some of our, uh, you know, overt measures, our hologram uh, labels on our cylinders, our refrigerant tracing program. So if you get a jug of gas, you can uh, quickly check, make sure it's legitimate. Shrink wrap on the valves to our uh, refrigerant jugs. Another way we're working to uh, ensure high quality and uh, avoid the problems of fake illegal refrigerants. And as always, we're working with the authorities to try and make sure that any of these unscrupulous uh, suppliers uh, do not impact the market in a negative way. What you can do, if you have a business, if you're a contractor or, or an OEM, uh, one, educate yourself and your employees Make sure everyone knows what legitimate product looks like. Uh, know how to spot a fake. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, links down below to our website where we have a lot of information that lets uh, you see what's going on and what we're doing. Um, see something, say something. If you come across something that doesn't look right, uh, reach out. 
you certainly uh, can call Camores at any time and uh, we will uh, talk you through it and, and try and make sure that you're on the right uh, path when it comes to getting a refrigerant. It's important, uh, you know, that we all remain vigilant. At times, this is not a real issue for our industry. At other times, it is. Sometimes it's in certain parts of the world. Other times, it's in other places. But again, if this problem were to get out of hand, it could cost the industry a lot of money and a lot of problems, which we don't want to uh, go down that path if we can avoid it at all. It also has the potential to set back a lot of the environmental progress our industry has made. When refrigerants that have been banned or uh, are being phased down or being diverted and used where they're not supposed to be, that doesn't do the environment any good and it doesn't do any of us in the industry any good. And finally, it's a safety issue. As I mentioned, there were some fatalities uh, associated with that uh, bad refrigerant uh, in the uh, reefer industry uh, a few years ago. Certain, certainly something none of us want to want to see happen in our industry. So I hope that's uh, uh, helpful. I don't want to uh, spread fear, but I, I, it's something you need to uh, be aware of and keep it in your uh, back of your head. And uh, again, always buy refrigerant from a supplier you know and trust. Uh, particularly look at price. If uh, you know if prices are too good to be true or it's some internet deal that you can only get in one place, it's not market pricing on a product, I would be very uh, skeptical, ask a lot of questions. That way you keep your business safe. I uh, hope this was helpful. Uh, my contact information will be uh, down below, but as always, I look forward to your feedback and any topics you want to uh, see me cover in these uh, refrigerant checkups. I'd be glad to do it. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.